Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and Happy New Year, Happy 2025. I am so excited because I've actually finally got the new functionalities of Google Notebook LM. So I'm really excited to show you some of the new functionalities on Notebook LM. If you're interested in looking at the new functionalities with me, then please keep on watching. Okay, so when I logged on today, I could see that I've got the new dashboard, which has got three segments in Notebook LM. And I was really excited to see the functionalities here. So what I've done is I've inputted a source. So let me just show you what this source is. This was the 10 most significant educational studies of 2024. Um, and it was published by Edutopia, uh, a website. So um, I was reading this article and I thought this would be interesting to file away and to also analyze. So while we're looking at Notebook LM, let's have a look at the 10 key educational studies from 2024. Okay, I'm just gonna close that window now and you can see we've got sources on the left and I can add sources. I can add up to 50 sources, you can see. And it's still anything from your Google Drive, any link such as YouTube or website. And I uploaded a website this time, or you can just copy the text straight away. And then I've got this window here, which has got add a note, audio overview, briefing document. And also, and now I have this new studio, which I'm really excited to explore. So let's have a look at the briefing doc first of all. And you can see when I click on the briefing doc, it actually is generating a new note on the right. I think this is a lot more organized, right? Rather than if you use most large language models, everything's just linear and it's actually really difficult to follow. In fact, I can't even search within a large language model certain key terms, but this is going to allow me to search terms to keep everything organized. Okay, here is a detailed briefing document summarizing the key themes. And then I can open up that window in the, in the studio and it's got key, theme, key themes and findings, the, small, the power of small wins, and it's categorized each of the, it's categorized each of the research articles into concept study, quote, implication. Lovely, and I can imagine that I will be sharing this on social media, this lovely summary here of the key findings. Now, saved responses are view only, okay? So remember, we can't actually edit this, but let's just have a look at the conclusion. The 2024 education studies highlight the need for adaptable and informed educational practices, obviously. Educators must consider the whole child, including their well-being and not only academic performance. Of course, I'm glad that that was another emphasis for 2024 in education research. The use of educational technologies, of course, needs careful thought, and that's talking about AI technologies. The research emphasizes the importance of creating a positive learning climate where students feel motivated and supported. So I'm going to convert this to a source. Now this summary so I don't lose it and I can actually use this as a source. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to close this note and then it says click to load the conversation. So I'm going to load the conversation. This is going to be the podcast that was generated. But you can see that there is an interactive mode in beta which means that I can actually turn on my, I can turn on my microphone as I'm listening to the podcast and I can actually change the, and I can change the direction of the podcast. So let's just play this first of all, 27 minutes, great. Welcome okay. back for another deep dive. Always fun. You know it, and uh, today we're gonna be exploring some of the most, you know, talked about mm -hmm. education studies that uh, came out in 2024. Yeah. There's quite a variety here. Yeah, there's kind of all across the board. Definitely. Um, you know, ranging from how inattention spreads in the classroom to AI's impact on learning. Right. So quite a quite a range. It should be fun. <laughs> yeah. I love how there's the ums and ahs. So let's click the interactive beta mode and then see what happens. And then I have to allow while visiting the site, allow, okay, so I'm gonna allow my microphone because I do need to enable my microphone. So two hosts, let's just see, I'm gonna join. So let's see, I'm just going to click play. Welcome back for another deep dive. Always fun. You know, it, and uh, today we're gonna be exploring some of the most, you know, talked about mm -hmm. education studies that uh, came out in 2024. Oh, hey, welcome. What's up? 
Okay, hi. So it's me, Jennifer, and I just want to make sure that you're talking about the 10 key education studies that actually focus on teaching and learning and the whole being of the child. Oh, yeah, uh huh. And that's about it. Okay, Jennifer, that's a great, great point. Yeah, it is important that we focus on the whole picture. And yes, absolutely, we are looking at the studies that consider the child's well-being in tandem with learning. So let's get into it then, shall we? Absolutely. First up. So you can see I've just hit the pause button. So I joined the conversation and talked about how we should be focusing on the whole being of the child, academic as well as non-academic pursuits. And they addressed that and included that in their podcast. So I love that. So we can actually download that. We can share that as well. Uh, let me just close this window. So and, and then we can also just vote whether it's a good discussion or bad discussion. I'm going to just say good discussion. And then that feedback was submitted. What I like about Notebook LM is it doesn't use any of the data and the outputs to, in terms of their training. So if you don't save a note, the note's not going to be saved. So how about if I close this window now and, and let's just explore the studio. So is there anything else? So I can download, change the speed, I can delete. So I can add a note at any time. I could actually do that before the briefing doc study guide FAQ. And I like how it's separated into the three panels. Um, so let's have a look at the audio overview here. Is this going to give me the same result? And I can see in the studio window, it's actually changed now. So I wonder if it's going to be exactly the same. I actually haven't figured out how to actually save these podcasts. It's not instinctual. I've been trying to save them because I generated a podcast and then I went down for an appointment where I could listen to my podcast and the podcast had gone. So I had to regenerate. And I also wonder, I've regenerated an audio overview a few times of this particular article, this website. And sometimes it gives me a 27 minute overview and other times it gives me a nine minute overview. So I wonder how it's determining the actual length. It'd be nice to have a little bit more control over that, but I'm still really happy with that. I'm going to hit the pause button because generating conversation actually does take quite a few minutes. So I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back and it's generated 27 minutes again. I was actually on my phone and it generated a nine minute summary. So I wonder if it's got to do with what device I'm using, but let's play this one. Um, and the, the source material that we're using is this great article by Edutopia called The 10 Most Significant Education Studies of 2024. Sounds like a good one. So let's dive right in. Let's do it. All right. So the first study that we have here um, is talking about warm demanders. Okay. Now I'm picturing, you know, like a, a teacher who's like that really great coach. He's right. supportive, but, you know, also pushes you. Pushes you hard. Yeah. yeah. Um, and it turns out that that approach is really powerful, especially when it's paired with something called the small wins strategy. Small wins. Okay. So, you know, it's this idea of like... Okay, so it's similar to the previous podcast that I generated, but you know, this is such a wonderful tool and a wonderful update. So I want to say thank you, Google Notebook LM. I'm still on the free version. I'm building up all my folders and my library of research papers and, and different documents. And now I can organize them in a much more efficient way. And I can also generate podcasts from the research so that I can just listen while I'm doing something else, whether it's just going for a walk down to Central or I'm at an appointment. It's great to be able to listen to listen to some of the research that is out there. So thank you so much for joining me for the first video of 2025. I wish everybody a happy new year and I look forward to future opportunities to meet with you in person.